the incredible amount of books Erin Hunter wrote. The Warrior Saga, the Survivor Series, the Seeker Series, and there's, well, another new series, and it's right here in my hand, and I've read it, and let's get right on to it. Hello, fellow book questers, it is I, Erin the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome, epic book. Brave Lands, Book One, Broken Pride, by Erin Hunter herself. Well, Erin Hunter is a lot of different people together writing a book, but you know, we can just say that. And Erin Hunter has made a new masterful series, and I've enjoyed it a lot. It's definitely very new and refreshing, like, it's definitely different from all the other warriors, survivors, and it's very, it's, it's very unique in a way. Of course, there are some little parts that I am reminded from the Warrior Saga, but I'm inclined to ignore that because it is an awesome, unique series. So, this book is about a young lion cub who was named Fearless. Fearless Gallant Prime. And Gaul Pride basically means that, so Pride is basically like a pack of lions. And Gaul Pride means that, well, Fearless, who belongs in the Pride of Gallant. But, treachery happens. An evil, a very, very evil lion named Titan attacks and manages to kill Gallant. Who is Fearless's father? And Titan tries to kill Gallant, Gallant's son, who is Fearless, our main character. And he runs away, and when he was running away, he is snatched up by an eagle. Then, he is rescued by a baboon. Quite a little bit of a fortunate incident, I would say. It's very interesting. And finally, he, he, he has to live with a huge amount of baboons who are a troop. And so Fearless grows. For a couple of years, he grows and matures, and he becomes a little bit of a lion himself. Except, of course, he doesn't have a mane yet because he's not fully grown. And, well, Fearless learns a lot of things from the baboons and from the, from the other creatures of the forest, of the Brave Land. There are the tall trees, where it's quote, there are many trees grow beautifully. And there are, of course, some other places, such as the valley, the lightning tree, the plain of our ancestors. This is the Brave Land, where, me where one rule is kept, the rule that is said, you you only kill to survive. Meanwhile, Fidelis knows that he wants to avenge his father's death. That he has to challenge Titan to, well, over take back Alan Pride, I guess. But, to be honest with you, he's still a cub. He's, he's a pretty big cub. In our standards, like, 70 years old, but he's not, like, Super mighty. He's not a. He's not a lion. He's not a full blown male lion, and that's what he needs to be in order to fight Titan. And then he, in an unfortunate incident, he is banished. He's banished from the little colony of, well, those monkeys, monkey guys, ban banshees, baboons. I'm sorry, and. Then he has to live on his own, which kind of sucks. Then he meets a new lion, a lion who had been, well, banished to. He'd been living alone, and his name was Loyal. So Loyal and Fearless met, and Loyal was an old friend of Fearless's father, Gallant, who was brutally murdered from that evil titan. And now, he decided that he was going to live as loyal, but even more problems follow. When he was hunting, he accidentally is caught by Titan, his very, his father's rival, and, well, his, the one he has to avenge, you know? And the Titan 
finds him, but fortunately a bunch of cheaters attack and take Ta our daughter, the, I mean the son of Titan. This means that Titan is desperate, and our dear Fearless said that he would take back the cup in order for his mother, who was about to be killed by Titan, who was blind, to live. And this is this story is basically about Fearless trying to grow up a little bit, trying to be more like a lion, and learning the cunning, and getting help from other creatures, such as, you know, the you know, the baboons and elephants. I'm sorry, I keep I keep forgetting the world word baboon. I keep thinking Ben Chi and it's not right, you know what I mean? And it's about fearless basically. But there are some other parts. Sky is an elephant who has a special ability to to read what happened from the bones of the dead. Which is, to be honest with you, Super duper duper cool, let's be honest here. And she saw a deadly dreadful vision and something had murdered someone and that's not right, that's not the rule. The one rule is you kill only to survive. Not in a conspiracy, not nothing like that, not murder. But something has happened and Sky felt it. And meanwhile, a baboon a baboon whose name is Thorn. Thorn is one of the main characters. He is Fearless's friend at his time when Fearless was in the troop of baboons. And he is a very fearless and loyal baboon. And he's a very nice friend to Fearless too. But then he uncovers treachery. A treachery of his mentor and, and a person that he truly respected. And to be honest with you, Seriously, seriously good plot twists. Even I didn't see it coming. To be honest with you, I can definitely see many, many things coming in, usual, in books like this, but there were a couple twists that I really did not see coming. And of course, there are some things. Some things that are incredibly similar to Warriors, which kind of did bring me closer to the truth. But still... <laughs> It is incredibly different, incredibly unique in so many ways. Men mostly because there are three, well, like six different kinds of animals in there and they all speak the same language and, you know, it's very unique. The warriors, cats. Survivors, dogs. The seekers, bears. But here, lions, cheetahs, baboons, and so many other creatures that live in the plains of Africa or in the savannah. And it was incredibly interesting to read and is one of my best recommendations. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the Book Quester. It is a very, very good book. And there are some twists and little plot twists that you cannot see coming, which just makes the entire book more interesting.